Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Well, the rumor mills are in full swing post Apple launching its M1 chip. If you missed our coverage of the M1 chip, then simply click on the pop out banner. A new leak talks about a product that every true Apple user is dying to hear a new MacBook Pro with the latest Apple Silicon. But it's not just a new Apple MacBook Pro. Apparently, there is a new iMac also on the way. That is something we all have been waiting for. As per the source, a Twitter user who goes by the name Leaks Apple Pro, Apple is going to be launching the successor to its recently launched first gen chip M1. It's likely to be named as M1X and is going to make its debut in 2021 with a 16 inch MacBook Pro. If true, then this would be an extremely fast jump from first gen to second gen processor since the new M1 silicon just got launched and powers the latest 13 inch MacBook Air and MacBook Pro along with the Mac Mini. As per the tweet from Leaks Apple Pro, the source who used the prototype with the yet-to-be-launched M1X chip said, if you think M1 is fast, you haven't seen M1X. The M1X is expected to be a 12-core processor with 8 performance cores and 4 power efficiency cores driving all the power. The current Apple M1 chip has an octa-core CPU with 4 performance cores and 4 power efficiency cores. While the name of the successor to the M1 isn't confirmed, the 16-inch MacBook Pro seems a likely candidate to get an upgraded processor that takes the company's transition to its own chips forward. Apple's M1 silicon is fabricated using a 5 nanometer process and consists of an octa core CPU, an 8 core GPU, and a 16 core neural engine. The previous generation Mac devices used multiple chips for the CPU, GPU, IO, memory, Thunderbolt, and security. However, with the M1 combines it all on a single soap, making the new devices highly efficient and powerful. And this seems to be getting increasingly confirmed by benchmark tests as well. Some recent reports indicate that benchmark numbers from the MacBook Air powered by Apple's M1 silicon seem to outperform the top of the line 16 inch MacBook Pro. On Geekbench 5, single and multi core scores for the M1 powered MacBook Air are 1,687 and 7,433, respectively. On the other hand, Apple's 16 inch MacBook Pro powered by the Intel Core i9 9989HK 8 core chip and 64GB RAM scores 1,097 and 7,014 respectively. YouTube channel MaxTech also put two M1-powered MacBook Pros, one with 8GB RAM and the other with 16GB RAM through a series of tests and, depending on what's being tested, the performance difference between the two isn't that stark. For activities that require more memory, like exporting an 8K or 3D RAW to 4K, it's only natural that the 16GB RAM configuration would finish faster. For more CPU-intensive tasks, however, the 8GB RAM model isn't that far behind. The real loser in these tests, unsurprisingly, is Intel once again. The benchmarks put an Intel Core i9 MacBook Pro with 32GB of RAM and a 2020 iMac with 16GB of RAM to be almost in the same ballpark as the M1 MacBook Pro with 16GB of RAM. Considering the Intel-powered Macs cost twice or thrice as much, the result is almost embarrassing for Intel. As if the Intel thrashing wasn't enough with the MacBook Pros, another tweet from the same account indicates that Apple is also working on a 24-inch iMac with a redesigned Magic Mouse that is slated to launch in March 2021 at a price of $1,399. We can only imagine the smoke and performance on that one. We can't wait for 2021, not only to move beyond COVID but also to all the exciting launches with Apple's second-gen M1 chip. Stay safe everyone, well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.